Hello, welcome to Sunday School for Children's Church for Sunday, January the 10th. It's so nice to see you. The Lord be with you and also with you. We're going to start off by singing the Fruits of the Spirit song. We're going to do an apple, a strawberry, and a pineapple. The Fruit of the Spirit, it's not an apple. The Fruit of the Spirit, it's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a strawberry. The fruit of the Spirit's not a strawberry. If you want to be a strawberry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. The fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. If you want to be a pineapple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We're also going to sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak. But he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. That I am God, be still and know that I am God. We sing this song to get ready to listen to a story of God. You may have a special way that you sit at your house or a special place that you are. When we are together, we sit crisscross applesauce, our hands are in our laps, our mouths are closed and still, our ears are open and listening, and our eyes are open and watching. This is the desert box. Inside it is a small piece of the desert. So many thing, important things happen in the desert that we need just a small piece of it in our room to help tell our stories. The desert is a strange and wild place. At night, it is very cold, but during the day, it is burning hot. There's almost no water at all. The winds come, and as they come, they shape and mold. So the desert is never the same. John the Baptist lived in the desert. near the Jordan River. The people of God came out to the desert to listen to John. John said, get ready. God is sending someone special. The special son of God is coming. But they did not know how to get ready. So John said, change the way you live. Do the 10 best ways to live, and I will baptize you with water. You will be clean and new again. And John took the people through the water. And baptized them. Then one day Jesus came to John and said, baptize me too. So they went through the water. And John baptized Jesus.
Then the heavens opened and the Spirit of God came to Jesus. And the voice of God said, This is my son. I wonder how the people felt when John told them to change the way they live and get ready for the special son of God. I wonder if it was hard for them to change the way they lived. I wonder how they felt when they went through the waters and went under the water to be baptized. I wonder how they felt when they came out of the water. I wonder if it was hard to wait for the special son of God. I wonder if they felt ready to be close to the special son of God. I wonder how you get ready to be close to the special son of God. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as we hear the word of God. Our story today comes from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. The beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in Isaiah the prophet. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, a voice of one calling in the desert. Prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. And so John came, baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locust and wild honey. And this was his message. After me will come one more powerful than I, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. It is now time for us to give our thanks to God. You can say something you're thankful for about for this story or something you're thankful for about that happened this week. If you're worried or scared or sad about something, you can pray about that now too. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let us pray. God, thank you for the beautiful snow that we have had this winter and help it to remind us to enjoy life, to be still and silent and listen to you, and to see the beauty of the world around us. Thank you for parents and teachers and pastors and healthcare workers and police officers and all those people who are having such tough jobs right now in the world. Thank you for friends and family. Help keep them safe. Thank you that there is now a vaccine and that people who we might know and love are receiving the vaccine so that they can be protected. Help all those who are sick, be it in mind or body or in spirit, and help us to love them no matter how they are sick. Amen. I'm now going to change the light. Look, the light is in one place at one time, but I'm going to change it so it is in many places at many times.
The light that was just in one place at one time is now in many places at many times. So the light and the love of Jesus may be with you as you watch this video or everywhere you go throughout the week. See you next time, guys.